Having seen right now little snippets about of Encanto, what is something that you want, you'd hope viewers who see Encanto to take from the film? Well, I hope they see their, their own families as they watch the movie. I think that uh, one of the things we definitely learned was that we don't really know our families that well and our families don't know us that well. Uh, and so I'm hoping that when people see the movie, they, they ask their family questions afterwards and get to know them a little bit better. I see there's a lot of dancing and music, like most Disney films, it has music in it. And, and, and it's based off the Colombia culture, which has a lot of music and, and, and dancing into it. Can you elaborate more on the anima animation process that went into the choreography? inside the film? Yeah, so we were super lucky to have Jamal Sims as our choreographer, uh, and along with him, Kai Martinez, uh, who's from Colombia. Um, so what would happen on this movie is they would take um, Lynn's songs, they get early demos of, that so of those songs, um, and then they would work out dance moves with a team of choreographers, a, a team of dancers, uh, some of them Colombian, who uh, would come up with these amazing dance steps to really bring the story and the music to life. We would then talk to them about those dance steps, uh, both uh, uh, both us as directors, but also, of course, the animators. And there's this really amazing back and forth. So we, we didn't do motion capture, but I think a lot of the language between um, animation and choreography is very similar. And so even thinking about um, dance styles, the way that people move, the rhythm of those movements are very similar between those two groups. Uh, what were some of the challenges that arose from working on the film during the uh, COVID-19 pandemic? <laughs> Uh, the, uh, the, all the challenges. Uh, you know, I think we were, uh, we screened our movies about eight, nine times internally over the course of, of the five years. And we had just finished the day that we all had to leave screening three. And so we went to a room to get notes on screening three and they said, everyone's going to go home right now. And so before production began, we all had to leave. And that's hundreds of people. And so our entire movie was produced at home. So everyone had to take their workstations uh, to their homes. We're a super collaborative group. So hanging out, enjoying each other is, is really, really part of our process. And so not being able to do that as easily was super tough. We found a way to do it over Zoom, but I'd say that was one of the biggest things, really just the sort of the human interaction that we're so used to. On that note, how was it working with the uh, voice actors via Zoom and having that recording? Because I know that can be tough. Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I think, uh, first off, we have the most amazing cast I could ever dream of. Um, uh, luckily, some of our cast members were here in Los Angeles, and so we could actually do that in studio. And we have studios where we're all separated uh, by glass, and so COVID protocols weren't a problem. But we had half of our cast who were Colombian recording in Colombia. Um, and so having to do record through Zoom for that um, was at first a challenging, it was really a learning process, but we figured it out pretty quickly. Um, and weirdly became somewhat normal. It just became the new way of doing things. And so we actually, I say at the end of the day, I don't know, well, I can, I, I can tell you, there's no a real impact on the movie in terms of how, how uh, the final product came out. But going to another previous project that you worked on, Zootopia, uh, by the way, huge fan of your work. Oh, Zootopia you. for me is like- Oh, thank you so much. Uh, I'm so happy to have uh, the furry community kind of represented in that film. <laughs> I'd say that uh, Zootopia uh, is one of the most uh, exciting things I've ever got to work on. I know it's probably too soon to talk about this, but is there a possibility for a sequel? So right now, um, uh, they're working on Zootopia Plus, which is a, a streaming series that'll be out. I don't know if they've uh, uh, released the official date of that, so I won't say when it's going to come out. But I will say that uh, that Josie Trinidad and Trent Corey, who are helming that, are doing a very phenomenal job. There are new stories in there that I can't wait for people to see. As far as uh, anything beyond in the world of Zootopia, we've been so focused on, on getting Encanto done. That's been like our, our, our whole life. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'd say for right now, I'd say anyone who's hungering for Zootopia, Zootopia Plus will be out soon. Uh, with that project being co uh, including fandom, references fa or a fan input in there? Um, I don't know the answer to that question. Um, I, honestly, because we've been um, really uh, sort of siloed and getting things done on Encanto, I'm not exactly sure what the specific process is uh, on that. Aside from, I've seen the stories they're going to put out uh, and I've seen the characters that will be coming through and I think people will be very happy.